Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. So if you're new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share, subscribe to help this channel grow. Thank you so much. Let's see. One article card, then we're going to start with the tarot. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. We're going to talk in this reading about love, life, money, career, everything. Let's start. This is your health. This is your money and career. I have two cards here, the Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups in reverse. I don't read reversals unless they are reversed on the table. And this is your love life. Five of Swords, the Empress, Temperance, Bath. And this will take one outcome, then we're going to start. If we need clarification, we're going to clarify. I will start with this two jumping card, the Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups in reverse. I believe, Libra, there is someone in your life you tried for a very long time to forget about. And each time you try to forget about them, you feel that they, they are, they appear more in your mind and in your heart. You didn't know how to get rid of this energy of that unconditional love to, towards them around you. And I believe at the end you accept the idea that you will keep this love in your heart and you will stop grieving the past and accept reality as it is. Maybe this person is not in your life anymore or even if they are in your life, you don't feel their energy around you. You don't feel them close. You feel a distance between you and them. Either they are with you or without you. Then you accept that this is what reality is. You are not able to forget about them. Doesn't matter what you still hold that love in your heart towards them. And I believe this is here, attached to these two cards that we have here. Let me bring this little bit so we can see everything. You accept the idea that you will not forget about this person and they will, their energy will stay with you, at least for now. You stopped fighting this energy and you accept it with peace. And this is the help of your heart. You stayed hanged in this situation for a very long time. Your heart stayed there, hanged. And as big as this, emotions deep inside you down here as these roots of the plant it's so small on top 
that it's not growing. It's very deep in your heart. The roots is very deep as a big tree. But the plant on top is very small. It's not growing. You tried and tried and tried to nourish this situation, take care of it. Maybe it will become that big tree that you dreamed of. Uh, sorry. That you dreamed about, but it didn't happen. And the moment you accepted that this energy is with you and you can't change it and you will leave it and you will continue your life without feeling sorry and grieving and crying about the past, waiting for something to change. You accept reality as it is. At that moment, I don't know if this is something happened in your life or about to happen. You will stop being this hanged man and you will start a new life as a chariot. You will run away because you stayed stagnant for a very long time. And when you will take the decision, it's time to move. The moving will be very fast. You will keep going in your life building your future, your dreams, your happiness in this chariot energy, running to catch up what you lost while you were waiting for this. Beautiful, beautiful, Libra, beautiful. And I believe this stagnation here, that type of energy was affecting every, every aspect of your life. And now, when you will leave this negative energy, because negative energy will spread in your life. This energy will be in every aspect, in your work, in your house, with your friends. When you deal with anyone, you will be negative towards them because you are sad. You are not open to life. Everything, this is, will affect everything. But the moment that you will flip to this chariot, everything in your life will change. You are the king of wands. You are very creative, passionate, determined. And you will find that partnership or that idea, that balance inside you if it's not a partnership. And you will start dreaming and planning for your future. Even your career, your work, your project, everything will change. You will have a positive change in your life. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. And this is what you did. You were grieving them, sometimes angry with them, want this to come back, then you... This person left. Maybe they, you accept the idea that maybe they have their own reason to leave. I always say that. Maybe you heard it from me. Love them and let them go if, you want, if they want to go. Let them go. You can't force anyone to stay with you. Because each one of us has his free will to pick what they want in life and to stay what, with whomever they want to stay with. You can't force anyone to stay with you. You can love them, even if they are not with you. Loving someone is completely different than owning them. You can't force them to stay. Keep that peaceful, unconditional emotions inside your heart to them and wish them good luck. 
Maybe this person is not ready. They need experience in life. Maybe something in life waiting for them to learn. You can't stop the process of life. You can control your own energy only. You can't control everything and everyone around you. And when you accept this idea, everything in your life will change. You will start to focus on yourself, on your growth, on your balance. At that time, you will vibe in a different energy and you will call what who is in your level. You will call the energy that match your energy. If you are here deep in this darkness, you will call negativity exactly what you're feeling. But when you are positive, you will attract everything positive around you. With your money and career, I believe you have a very beautiful change in your future. Maybe you have an idea or you're thinking about something with a partner or with you as a balanced person. I don't know. Maybe both. There is a wish will come true. You will hope for something, you will call something and you will work toward something and that something will be yours. Just be positive. And in your love life, you stayed in this five of swords, thinking and thinking and waiting and trying to find a reason why this happened, why that happened, why, but you didn't. This energy didn't help you. We have to accept that there is so many answers in life. We will not find I mean, so many questions in life, we will not find the answer for. Why this happened? Maybe today you don't know why this happened. Maybe in the future, when you will find something way more beautiful, you will understand why this happened. This happened because you have to grow. You have to change your energy to be this empress here. With this temperance, temperance as well, you will be a very grounded person, balanced, ready to experience life and love the way you deserve. You are so ready to bring the right energy to your life. With this end of the reading, the chariot, the star and the temperance, what's more beautiful than this? These two cards is the key for everything. You will heal that pain in your heart, that negative energy, and everything will heal in your life with these two. Let's see what's our outcome. The Seven of Swords. This is the person that you were hand to. They were unfaithful, unfair with you. But the card is telling you to bring peace to your heart. A very clear message. To help heal the situation and the situation is your situation. It's not always the situation between you and the person in your mind or the energy that you're thinking about. Heal the situation that you are in. You, the hanged man here with the seven of pentacles waiting, waiting and waiting and nothing, no results. See the other person's point of view with compassion. Forgive them and understand their reasons 
even if you will not believe in it, just accept it. When we forgive and release, we forgive and release to bring peace to our heart. It's not about the other person. It's not about them. It's about me. I don't hold that anger inside me because I want to be balanced and relaxed and happy. Forgive. Forgive this energy, that feeling, that person, that situation, whatever you have in mind. Release. Let them go and enjoy your life. What's waiting for you is way much better than what you were in. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best, my dear. I hope you find something helpful here. Thanks a lot for the love and the support that you're showing me. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.